Hey everybody, I don't know if you've been having any issues with the ATEM Mini uh, switcher um, when it comes to incorporating your MacBook Pro or a laptop uh, and the feed not coming through, but uh, it was driving me crazy and I found no help for this online at all, so I figured I would make a quick video showing you what I did to fix this problem, but let me walk you through what I'm doing first off. So I just moved from a two camera system to a four camera system for my uh, podcasting live stream. So um, what I did is I went from a Roland uh, uh, two channel uh, switcher to an ATEM Mini 4 channel switcher. And if you're not used to that, let me turn this around. So this is my basic setup. So this is my setup here. So here's my desk. So I'm using my MacBook Pro for my keynotes. Um, I have my soundboard here, um, so my microphone, and the ATEM Mini 4 channel switcher there. And so the ATEM does not come with the ability to use a quad um, uh, uh, preview out. So what we what has been recommended, and I, I really like this, is to pair it up with this CTEC quad monitor. And as you can see here, the back of the CTEC, your input devices go in and then they go out and then directly into the back of the ATEM Mini. Now the devices I currently have are my Panasonic main 4K camera there. I have a little Canon DSLR digital there. Uh, and I also have my MacBook Pro. And as you can see, all three are visible on the CTEC monitor. So what I do when I'm live streaming, I cheat and I use my streaming computer, which is located there, um, to, uh, what I do is I mirror the desktop onto this TV. So I can see my ugly mug right there. Um, I usually have better lighting, but this is just for demonstration purposes. And I have the notes for whatever I'm speaking on right there. And then I can see the rest of my Ecamm Live software. So what ends up happening is when I'm using these three devices, my cameras come through without a problem. I can use my iPhone. I can use any of the cameras. Uh, I can use my GoPro. I can hook any of the cameras built in, into it and there's no problem, it comes through. The monitor is a 4K, so a beautiful resolution. Uh, and, then it, and then it comes through and everything else gets a really good image on the, uh, uh, the Ecamm software. But when I plug my MacBook Pro, this is a 2019 uh, MacBook Pro, it's got 64 gigs of, on, of uh, onboard RAM. This thing is a, this is, this is a beast of a computer. But for some reason, Mac, has been changing a lot of its port configurations over the last years. And I think one of the worst things that they did um, was they got rid of the HDMI interface. So there's no HDMI plug here. Um, so you're forced to do everything via USB-C out. So everything is a conversion. So I don't know if this is a port problem, if this is a uh, port weakness problem. I'm really hoping that uh, Mac has not been, I hope if you're listening, Mac, I hope Mac has not been cheaping out on the, uh, um, uh, the capability of the ports, but for some reason, I'll show you, we'll look back, if you look at the, whoop, if you look at the TV there, that's my screen. So that's input one, that's my main camera right there. Uh, if I go to input three, which is the DSLR, you see, no problem, no, no issue with the image. But when I go to input four, which is what I currently have my MacBook Pro set to, I get a black screen. Every now and then that screen will flash green, but it doesn't do it. it it's just showing me that it's trying to push a signal, but it's not actually getting something through. So I went through a number of steps. I swapped out the HDMI cables. First thing I did, maybe I had a bad cable, whatever. I changed all the inputs, nothing. Um, I tried putting an amplifier. So I went from the, from the MacBook directly out to an amplifier splitter and then into the CTEC. Uh, to, to nothing. Um, and then I went from the CTEC into an amplifier and then into the ATEM, nothing. Uh, so it was, it was very, very frustrating and there was no help for this online whatsoever. Um, probably just because people don't like Mac users. Uh, so um, I tried something just for the heck of it and it worked. I don't know why it works. I have no clue as to why it works. And in my head, it shouldn't work, but it does. And I'm going to show you what I did, because maybe this is happening to you. So on the signal coming out of the MacBook, I'm going into 
Let's see. Apologize for all the camera moves here. I'm going into a little switcher, all right? And you can see there's my USB-C power, power cable. There's the HDMI out. Uh, and this USB is actually going to something specifically. And I'll show you what that is in just a second. Um, now, what this is, uh, and you, you can still see that that's, that's a black screen right there, but you can still see that my secondary monitor is visible there. Um, so what I did is I incorporated that, that blue USB cable right there is connected to a capture card. So this is a uh, 4K uh, Ultra HD USB 3.0 video capture card. Uh, I have no idea who makes this, um, but uh, you know, here you go. I got this online for I think 40 bucks. But you see, it has a U it has a HDMI in and an HDMI out. Now that is supposed to be a parallel out, right in, right out. N no, no big deal. Um, it has the USB port so it can go into your streaming computer so that you can actually capture what you're doing. Now I had this I had this laying around extra because it's not not the card that I normally use. Um, this is a non-powered card so the USB port actually powers the card. Um, the one that I normally use is, is uh, it's called a Prophecy uh, and it's actually got its own power supply. That's why I like it. I don't like drawing too much power from my USB ports. Um, so, but all I did and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you when I'm doing it, um, is I took the HDMI out from my MacBook into here and then out to the CTEC. That's all I did. Uh, I plugged it into a, uh, uh, the USB into my computer so that it would get power, and it solved the problem. I have no color issues. I have no, um, no, image, no image correction issues. Everything works fine. Uh, I have no idea why this works, but let me show you when it, when it happens. So I already have this set up. You can see... The, H, the, the USB port is right there. Uh, now there's another HDMI cable here, and just to make sure that you see that I'm not, not fooling you, that's my capture card, okay? So I ordered another one for another set of computers that we're streaming on. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you, if I can get this to work right. Yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna unplug that HDMI. I'm going to plug the other HDMI cable in. You can see the computer just blinked. Okay, so now over here, you can see that I am into card slot two. I'm gonna go to press input two, and there it is. I have no idea why that works but it does. It's a pretty cheap workaround. Already, uh, you know, very easy things to get a hold of. I've got a couple of other capture cards coming to see if some of the cheaper ones will actually do the same thing. So every now and then there's inline ones that will actually um, uh, work out pretty well. Um, but uh, yeah, if you have an idea why this works, let me know. Um, just pop in the comments. I'd love to know your, your thoughts on that. I don't know, like I said, I don't know why this works. I have not tried this with other capture cards yet, but this one works. So there you go. Quick workaround for the A10 Mini. I love the device. I think it's fantastic. Their latest update was fantastic, but um, this really saved my butt because I was ready to throw the thing out the window. Now it's one of my favorite tools. So there you go. Have a great afternoon. See you.